Hello, hey, how you doing? My name is Ale. A few months ago, I started working with this company called Wag Dog Walking. If you don't know what Wag is, I made a video already sort of explaining how it is and how it works. And I also talked a little bit about my experience. I sort of did a review. So if you'd like to see that and check that out, I'm gonna link it below. A lot of people, a lot of you guys asked me to do another WAG review, like an updated WAG review. Um, they've also asked me to do tips, they've asked me to do stories about WAG. So for this video I decided to give you guys my top three most important tips that I learned from my experience from working as an independent contractor with WAG. I have been working as a WAG dog walker for about five months already. It's been great, I love it, I love it. <laughs> In my personal experience I found these three top things, the things that have helped me the most. Number one, a fanny pack. I know, <laughs> very 90s. It's sort of coming back, but fashion aside, this is the one that I have. It's, you know, simple fanny pack. Ooh, ah, yes. This is sort of like my basic kit, dog walking kit. As you can see, I have here a little space for my phone, which is a thing that you need a lot, you know, when you're walking, you need to use, be using the app a lot to put the pees and the poop and where they pee and where they poop and also to be checking how much time you have left and also to be checking where you are because <laughs> sometimes you get lost, don't get lost <laughs> and then I have this little pouch here I usually have some Kleenex in here because I have allergies and it's the worst if you have allergies you know what I mean but then this is the most important area <laughs> area this is the most important area this little thing right here because this is where I put my business card, super easy to access and give as needed when I'm on walks. I'm gonna talk about that in a second. But um, this smells, this smells like pee. <laughs> Why am I surprised? In the main one, I put treats and other stuff that I might need, my sunglasses. And then here on the sides, I have doggy bags, poop bags for the doggies, very much needed. Unfortunately, that's the thing, a lot of poop pickups, so I hope you're not disgusted by poop and if you are, I'm sure you're not gonna be soon, trust me. The other side, I have a little portable water bowl, which is foldable and portable and it's super awesome. I recommend that I'm gonna put the link below, I got it from Amazon, so I'm gonna put the link below if you wanna get one of these guys, they're awesome, because it's super hot, it's summer, so the dogs need water. This is awesome. So yeah, this is the kit and of course I have hanging the, the wag bandana that I put on the doggies for that extra dollar, yay. Also safety, like uh, above all of these things that you're carrying, like I use it for safety mostly because I always like to put the leash in here like for extra protection and I'm also like carrying the leash but I have it in there because sometimes you need both hands and sometimes any kind of situation like it's just, I, it makes me feel more secure that I have the dog attached to me if I like need my hands for something, you know? So tip number two, uh, the other really important thing that has helped me is always carry your business cards. And when you run out, which... Make sure to order more and you can do it through the app. There's like a walker store. And you can order more of these cards through there. I already ordered mine, they're on their way. Um, this is my last one. There's been so many situations where I'm on a walk and I'm not expecting it. And people actually approach me and ask me like, oh, what is it? They, they look at the share and they're like, what, what is that? I just tell them about it and quick, quick, quick. And then, oh, do you have a business card? Of course I do, right here on my fanny pack. Ready to go. They also have the promo code that you give for the first time clients to get a $20 uh, off gift card, credit, whatever it is. And you get $25 if they use your code. So last but not least, my final tip, my final recommendation. So there's this Facebook group called Wag Dog Walkers. And it's unofficial, it's made by other wild dog walkers like myself. But it's amazing because it has all of these frequently asked questions. There's like a lot of people, over a thousand members already, that can help you and they can solve your problems. There's walkers that have been doing WAG for years already and they have a lot of experience with glitches, problems, any kind of situation. They can give you recommendations and solutions and stuff. It's really helpful. Very important to mention that to enter this group, you have to be a wag dog walker already. Because in order to enter, it prompts you to put your personal promo code that they give you when you become a wag walker. 
If you don't have the promo code, you cannot be accepted into the group. The place is like just full of dog friendly people. I mean, it's all dog walkers, so most of the people in this group are super nice, super respectful. They post like cute, the cutest pictures of dogs, it's like the best place. But also like, besides besides all the cute puppy pictures, um, there's also like questions, like for example, sometimes you're in a situation that is time sensitive or something, there's some problem that you have with a walk and you need to solve it because you have another walk later. And sometimes walk support is not very responsive like right away. There's people that go to the group and put their problems there and somebody can help them before WAG support helps them. In the group there's also like people post like success stories like really awesome experiences that, that they've had with dogs or with owners or something. They also post failure stories and things go wrong. The world is not perfect obviously. This app is not perfect obviously. It's you know growing and growing. It's a thing that it's always constantly fixing you know. Any new app is gonna have bug fixes and glitches and crashes and there's people constantly working on those things. Unfortunately, there are some really bad situations that have happened, scary situations, so like a lot of drama. But yeah, there's been like situations where why can't help you and the Facebook group is a great place where you can find help sometimes when why can't. When I say why can't help, that's like, okay. So it's very important to keep in mind that when you're working for WAG, you are an independent contractor and all of this information is in the contract that you're supposed to read and that you sign to get into WAG. But I guess people sometimes forget or people don't really un understood that part or I don't know. But I just wanted to make it very clear that in the contract, in the WAG contract, we as walkers are not insured and WAG cannot do anything if we get beat or if anything bad happens to us, the walkers, there's nothing that WAG has responsibility to do. This is something that they tell you very clearly in the contract. When you sign it, you are supposed to know this. Like you are doing all of these things and walks at your own risk. If you get beaten, that's on you. It's like it sounds very bad and, and like scary, but that's how it is, and that's how the app works. And unfortunately, that's how it is. And I signed the contract, and yes, it sucks sometimes to hear these like horrible stories that other people have experienced, and uh, and what can't do anything for legal reasons, for many, you know, many reasons. But um, technically, like down to the legal papers thing, it's not on WAG because you are agreeing. When you sign, you agree and you know that they are not gonna be able to help you. And you're like willingly agreeing. If you have a problem with that, you are not about working with WAG without being insured, then don't work with WAG. And I've seen people in the group that are like, this has been my last walk because of this situation, so I'm gonna just leave WAG and blah blah blah. And that is perfectly okay and valid and yes. Me personally, I haven't had any horrible experiences yet. I've had some hiccups here and there, not really big problems or anything. WAG support has been very helpful to me. They have been very helpful and respectful all the times that I've had to deal with them. But there are places, I guess, I, I'm not really sure how WAG support works, like where they are or if they have many, which I, that's how I imagine it is, that they have many different headquarter locations for the WAG support people that help you. Because honestly, like I've had just wonderful experiences with them, but they are, there are some experiences that people put in the group that I'm like, how are these people WAG support? Like, how are they working that thing if you don't know how to speak to people without being rude? So there's like shitty, bad situations. I'm letting you know, because I'm here as an independent contractor and I'm giving you an honest review on the app. I want to know what you're getting into. Like I said, it's some of them. Like, I don't want to generalize and I don't want to bash on WAG support and tell them like, you are the worst because there are a group of people. It's not, it's, they're individuals in a group. So I don't like to generalize and me personally, the people that have spoken to me from WAG support have been very respectful, very nice. They've helped me all the time and I have no complaints, me personally. But just know some of them are not okay and WAG needs to improve that. Other things that you might find in the Facebook group, tips, recommendations, warnings about dangerous dogs, aggressive dogs that you've encountered, 
warnings about dangerous neighborhoods. All of this information is just very, very useful to do the best job that you can <laughs> doing what? And that is it. Those are the three main tips that I got for you. Don't forget when you're already a WAG dog walker to join the WAG dog walkers Facebook group. It's the one that has over a thousand members. It has a green banner with white letters that say have a waggy day. The unofficial dog walkers group for wag. That's what it's called. That's it. Those are the three things. Um, I hope that you found them useful. Let me know in the comments below what you think about them. Uh, let me know if you found them useful. Let me know any other stuff or any other questions that you have about the app. I'm here and happy to help you. If you're a new Wag Dog Walker, welcome to the crew! What's up? What's up? Represent! <laughs> Let me know where you're from, where are you walking the doggies, and I hope to see you in the group, okay? Thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked it, subscribe, give this video a like, share it if you think that anybody is gonna benefit from this information. Thank you so much to all the people that have subscribed lately. Hi, welcome guys! Hi! I'm so glad to have you here! I'm so excited! Yay! Welcome! Um, hope you stay! <laughs> stay forever! I'm gonna go walk some doggies for money, but also for love. Doggy love is the best. Am I creepy? I might be creepy. I'm gonna go now, okay. See you in the next one, bye! Ow.